G'day guys, Chef Guy Turland here, and if there's one thing that comes close to my love of food, it is the love of a perfect coffee. So today's recipe is how to make the perfect coffee. Five steps that you need to learn in making a barista quality coffee at home. I'm firing up my Cafe Series Duo Espresso Machine by Sunbeam and this thing is an absolute beast and allows me to drop shots and drop milk at the same time. It also has two awesome gauges that show me the perfect milk temperature and the perfect uh, kind of pressure for the perfect shot of coffee. So let's get stuck into my five tips that you need to know in making a barista quality coffee at home. Tip one is all about the coffee beans. You want fresh, beautiful coffee beans, just like food. If your food is old, then those natural flavors aren't as strong. And the same is said about the coffee bean. You want fresh coffee beans that are fresh, uh, full of beautiful oils, because it's those oils that you are extracting into your coffee. Tip two is know your grind. When I talk about grind, I'm talking about the size of those coffee particles after you've ground your coffee. Uh, too thick, and your coffee is gonna to run too quick and you're not going to extract those oils. Uh, too fine and your coffee is going to burn because that water can't get through that fine packed. Tip three is all about the weight of your coffee. If you have a set of scales, pull them out and weigh your coffee into your basket. This means you are getting the right amount of coffee for the amount of water that is pushing through that puck. Step four is all about tamping. So we're talking about pressure here and pushing in that coffee into a puck. So too much pressure and you're going to compact that coffee puck too much, which means that when the water runs through, just like a fine grind, it's going to burn the coffee. Too little, same as a coarse grind, the water is gonna run through your coffee too quickly and not extract that beautiful oil and caffeine and that flavor that you want. So you're really looking for that kind of middle ground and this comes down to practice, uh, understanding your coffee grind and also understanding your coffee machine. Tip five is all about your milk. You don't want your milk to be boiling hot. You want it to sit at about 65 degrees. Uh, what I love about this machine is it has a little green dial and it tells you when your milk is at the perfect temperature, which is super helpful. If you don't have a gauge, you can put a thermometer inside your milk or you can just use your hand and just feel it as it comes up to temperature. When throffing your milk, you don't want to hear that milk screaming as it's dying and getting burnt. You want it to have a, a subtle hum and you want your milk to be circulating as that steam wand is pushing the milk around in circles, aerating that beautiful milk. So that's my five tips. I'm gonna throw in a sixth one just for free because I love you guys. The sixth tip is to have fun with it. Don't get too serious about your coffee. Experiment, really give it a crack. Fall in love with the process and the tinkering, the grind, the size, uh, the amount of water, how hot your milk is. Fall in love with that process and I promise you, your mornings will be more enjoyable for it. Peace out, stay safe, cook lots, and check out bondaharvest.com.